Hello, welcome to Talk to the Hand podcast. I am Shock Mouse and I am joined by... Uh, Peter Day! Hey. It's Peter Day! Yep. His name... His surname appears on every day of the week. Did you just make that up now? It sounds familiar. No. <laughs> I made it up right okay. now. Wow, it sounds right. familiar. And also uh, by... Um, Angry Chimp. The chimp with the fur. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Angry Chimp. Were you singing that? To... Wanker. Were you singing that to the A-Team theme tune? Uh, <laughs> Angry uh, Chimp. Uh, Angry yeah. Chimp. <laughs> He is a dick bag. He is a dick bag. <laughs> He's the chimp, the angry chimp. Okay, Shock right. Shock right. on. <laughs> right. Okay. First of all, breaking news. Uh, we discussed that we weren't going to discuss this, but then we said the chimp said that Shock Mouse is an absolute pussy. Um, you remember? You remember last? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember last week oh. when we were talking about the uh, gossip cafe? Um. Basically, yeah. I was trying to find a picture of it, and there's like only one floating around online that's attached to a, um, a like an Australian Daily Mail. Um, yeah, and... uh, Daily Telegraph. Daily Telegraph, that's the one. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, basically, <laughs> the guy can I, was, can, the I guy... Say, can I say what happened? Can I say <laughs> yes! what happened? Yes. Can I say what happened? Yes! All right. So from my perspective, Peter's sitting in jolly old England, going, "Oh, here's a photograph of the cafe." I think he sends it to me. I'm in a restaurant with my wife and her friend. They're discussing their lady shit and <laughs> being all deep and meaningful. And I'm their sitting there like, shit. "Yeah, I'm a guy." The lady gonna shit. Try and fit in. And Pete sends me this picture. He says, "Is that the cafe?" And I said, "Oh yeah, that's definitely the cafe. I remember sitting in there. I was watching that TV. Yada yada yada. This is that was where I would sit." And um, he goes, is that the guy? And I'm like, I, I'm not sure because it was like six years ago. Yeah. I can't really remember. I just, <laughs> then I thought about it, like, yeah, he would have been gussied up and like they would have had makeup on him and did his hair, which wouldn't have been like, <laughs> what it would have been when I went and saw him. And then, so that was just the picture. But then when you go to where the picture came from, and it, yeah, it was from an article from the Daily Telegraph. And I'm only 90% sure that this is the guy in the picture, but whoever that guy in the picture is, is dead. <laughs> he, I'm trying to say that as respectfully as I can. Well, no, it's not fun. <laughs> you said respectfully as you can. You just said, he's dead. He's dead. He's not coming back. <laughs> he's long gone. He shoveled up his mortal know. coil. He's worm I food. Know. I don't know if it was the person who told me off, but whoever's in this picture was murdered in 2014 in the street. Because, yes, I, because, I, because I what's the reason? Down. What's the reason, Chuck, that he was murdered? Well, butter hanging out. They the didn't. <laughs> well, they didn't leave a note with him, like why he died. It's merely now. Don't do it again. <laughs> don't do it again. No tip. <laughs> Might have had something to do with and i don't know if this was the guy that told me off but whoever was in this picture did seven years for drug dealing before <laughs> he opened that cafe oh i should mention that the cafe was sold in 2013 so the, these are not the current owners yeah they are completely different managers now you must so feel, please don't you, go you to that cafe better, and though. you must feel better about that cafe in general like you want like you should be able to go back to it now yeah, well, yeah, yeah that even though he wasn't anymore. dead, it's been sold. So yeah. I should be able to go back. It should be fine, yeah. But it's really weird because over the years, it, this uh, every time I would hear the word subtle, it would just come flashing back into my mind. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that guy's out there somewhere. And if he sees me, he's going to be like real subtle. And then he'll like stab me with butter or something. But <laughs> to know that there's a 90% chance he's dead, it's a weird feeling. <laughs> It's not funny. He's dead. <laughs> it's the way that you're approaching uh, it. Stab you with butter. I'm trying to be respectful. <laughs> and so, um, failing miserably. Yeah, so the long and short of it is that you had a pretty good podcast last week at the end of the day, Shocks, because you also made the earwig mistake, confusing it with earbuds, yes. which confused the whole fucking issue. <laughs> and only after the podcast myself did I realise what the fuck you were referring to. And I think you completely, you completely missed why I said that I'm thankful for um, uh, Derek Savage. Yes, I missed that too. Yes. I totally missed that. <laughs> so I thought you were, trying to, you were idolising him. No, I never said I fucking idolised him. I said I'm thankful for him. 
Oh, I'm gonna unload on him now. I'm gonna be <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, your, your missus hate fucks you. <laughs> so, so basically, give her, um, I'll give her my salty butter. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so basically um pete's gonna gone now so i'm gonna talk um so basically a podcast went to shit last week all because of shock mouse being super retarded right? and not understanding anything in the podcast not understanding words and bitching about a dead guy <laughs> bitching about a dead guy getting confused between earwigs and earbuds I and mean, when he said when he said they were in a jar on my uncle's bedside cabinet, I was like, what the fuck? Who keeps it with? Who keeps bugs in a fucking jar by the side of the bed? Worryingly, <laughs> worryingly, why were you playing with them? <laughs> yeah, I was a kid, I didn't know what they were. <laughs> you got poor chronic innovator going, what the fuck is going on? And researching what an earwig is, right? Yeah, and then he, he shot- fucking took the effort to Google it. Yeah. <laughs> Just old mouse is sitting there going, uh, well, one's just falling out of the McDonald's uh, worker's ear. And I'm like, well, why has he got an earwig in his ear? I don't... <laughs> so there was, it just made no fucking sense. Like, there was like a large portion of la- last week's podcast where, where Shock Mouse was just on his own podcast a fucking game. <laughs> oh, that's it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> they're, co- they're coming to get you. Have you anything to say in your defence, Shock Mouse? Have you anything to say in your defence? No, it was painful for me to listen back to as well, because I realised listening back everything in context, and I'm like, oh god, <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> right, Shock Mouse, you haven't changed a thing. Uh, let's uh, just go on to the conversation starters thing here, and um, oh yeah, 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 yes, yes, yeah, be oh, quiet. I... Do you prefer to take baths or showers? I will fuck you up, Peter. <laughs> Not before I fuck you. I up. haven't had a bath in my years. I live in an apartment. They don't have baths. Baths. Oh. Bath. What about you, Jim? I, I prefer a nice soak in the old tub. Bit yeah. of the old Radox. Bit of the old Becky boop on the laptop on the toilet. No, no, the toilet's kind of behind the bath. It's kind of a bit of an awkward way to turn a twist. <laughs> well, you get a periscope then. Uh- <laughs> Excuse me? You get the periscope then. Oh, I get a periscope, all right. Uh... <laughs> and we're. How long was that before Be- Becky Boot was Eight mentioned? Minutes Eight 20. minutes. Oh, yes. Uh, that's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> and I'm the one that's obsessed. I- how many times have I mentioned her? Probably not as many as Peter Day. Oh, no. Come on now. I think you're the person who mentioned her the most. Really, really not. Really, really listen is. over these, Shock. listen over these podcasts, and you tell me out of all of us who mentions them the most. Shock. Do you think that Chip mentions Becky Boop the most? Um, I think he does. Yeah, oh, he definitely you, does outside of the podcast. Yeah, like in private conversations. Like oh, he, I see. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, woken yeah. me up in the middle of the night before, going, "Mitch, wake up, wake up! I've got to, I've got to talk to you about Becky Boop." I'd be like, oh, what is it? <laughs> Shut the hell up, I'm trying to sleep. I want to hate fucker. Oh, no, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> help me, help me, shocks. I want. <laughs> uh, right, I'm moving on. Right, <laughs> move if, on, move if on. You, if you were given three wishes, what would you wish for? <clears throat> no, for fuck's sake, you're just like just, just, just setting me up. <laughs> Becky, Boop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Becky Boop's left hit. Becky Boop's right it. <laughs> and the third? <laughs> Money. <laughs> Stop computer. <laughs> Proper. <clears throat> oh, shit. Sorry, what? <laughs> huh? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You won't wish for anything. How boring are you? What, me? <laughs> no, Shock Mouse. Yeah, I was going to oh. say, I'm so confused. Shock, what would you wish for? The elixir of life. Right. Yes. What's the, what's the elixir of life? Like, I, being alive? Think... You're, you're already a fucking life. <laughs> but, like, forever. Who wants to be? Who wants to live forever? Me. Like... Why? <laughs> I would sit in Parliament and watch them, like, through the ages. <clears throat> 
It would be great. But why Parliament? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And then I'd yell out obscenities. I would yell out obscenities. They'd be like, oh, we're going to ban you for 100 years. Lifetime ban. I'd be like, ha, ha, ha. See you fools in 100 years. Because I'll be alive. You'll all be dead. So so you you have the elixir of life. You decide to live forever. And you would sit in Parliament. What a cunt. (laughs) (laughs) Honest to God, there's so many better things you could do. Actually, if you were living living forever, you might actually reach that million subs on YouTube in about, you know, 2,000 years. If YouTube's still a thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should we just go to a different topic? Yes. What is your favourite children's book? The Hungry Caterpillar. All right. Is that Australian a euphemism? Because we have that. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> if you want it to be Pete. <laughs> I think I do. Um, oh, good for you. <laughs> what are you most thankful for this year? I'm going to sound really, really, really gay now, but you two. Oh. All right, you right. Uh, move so on. Wanna... Right, you can move on from that now. Right, angry chimp doesn't have a heart. Remember that. The death <laughs> stare. Look into my eyes, bitches. I just got like your <laughs> like image on Skype. It's just like. The chimp has just got like a thousand yard death stare. Damn right. You're damn yeah. right. I tell you what, I tell you what, guys. Do you want to play um, who, who Will Blink First? <laughs> <laughs> well, none of us are on like camera on Skype. So like Shot Mouse is just this like sort of like extremely happy drawing. And I don't even have any fucking eyes enough, on mine. Funny enough, behind the camera, he's crying. <laughs> Laughing, but I'll never get to go to Parliament. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm doing the podcast again. The fucking chip puppets putting in me. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thankful for, Peter Day? Um, the music, the songs I'm singing, and for all the joy they're bringing. Alright, that copyright. was gay. That, that, tell you what, that was gayer than what I said. <laughs> is, is Abba gay, Chip? Yes! Yes. They were in Eurovision. Anything in Eurovision is gay. Fair point. What's your biggest priority in your life right now? Uh. I should say. Uh. The. Um, birth of my baby next year, but I'm not I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say getting a silver play button. That's actually my biggest thing. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, do... trying. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> my biggest priority is uh, it's probably actually my YouTube channel at the moment. That's yeah. the thing I'm I've got I'm, it's the thing I'm most focused on. Yeah. Um. So. Yes. Yeah. Um. But you know, I don't know if it's my biggest priority. It's probably earning money. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't earn money, then I don't have a roof over my no. head. You don't have anything. Yeah. And what? I certainly don't earn money from YouTube. So. <laughs> I do just a very tiny bit. Uh. Sometime in the middle of the next year, I might get my first payout. Oh. Do you know what you're gonna do with your first payout? I'm going to throw it all on the floor and roll in it. Yeah? All what? 60 quid. Oh, yeah, all 60 quid of it. <laughs> I'm just getting them in £5 notes so it looks bigger. Yeah. <laughs> There's no like more money. Got, oh, no, but the, the have new... Have you gotten fi- that the, Patreon money I sent you yet? The new £5 notes, like, stuff, they feel weird. I don't know if you've got one of those new £5 note things yet, Chim. Yeah, I think they're, in, I think they're, I think they're jazz, Oh, actually. they feel weird. They feel weird. They feel like weird, uh, but they are waterproof, just because... Oh, oh, that's like all right it. then. <laughs> yeah. Sort like of fucking morons like who stick their fucking money in their like jeans in the washing machine. They could. I've fucking... never done that. Uh, I've, I've never, never done washed... that. Yeah, They're I've never washed thing. money. I've you washed think my... the five pound note feels weird? Imagine being Prince Harry, sticking pictures of his grandmother in a stripper's bikini at his bachelor party. Wait, now that what? would feel weird. About it. He doesn't he doesn't carry cash? What are you on about? He just carries gold bullion. <laughs> <laughs> he 
<laughs> well, you can't stick that down their top. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Lon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, random topic generator. What is your biggest risk? Uh, uh, re- sorry, regret this week. <laughs> um, your biggest regret. We need to have these questions screened so that we can like prepare. I'm screening. <laughs> no, you. no, I like the idea that we can't prepare. My biggest regret is is always this podcast. Always. <laughs> but, really? <laughs> um, my garbage disposal broke. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Did it? no! Dude? <laughs> no, it didn't. No, we don't have garbage disposals in England. No. Not something we really do, is it, Pete? No, because we're fucking sensible and put the fucking food in the fucking bin. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you Doesn't get the occasional it. pee or, like, piece of uh, fucking pasta that goes down the, uh, the, the drain. Occasional pee. <laughs> <laughs> Use the toilet, you fuckwit. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Well, <laughs> Chip, you, you fucking Jokes. outwitted me there. You, you might as Jokes. well call yourself Angry Outwitting <laughs> Show. Yeah, firing those jokes at you, Pete. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, shit. Yeah, catch up with me. Catch up. <laughs> Shut like seriously, going, though. Well, I don't get it. It's a vegetable. <laughs> it's a pea. I don't get it. It's a, I don't like peas. Actually, I don't like peas either. What? What's wrong with you? I like mm-hmm. peas. They just taste like nothing. No, they don't. They taste like peas. nothing. They taste the like peas. Oh, you're lucky. To me, they taste like shit. <laughs> That's because you're eating shit. <laughs> you fucker. You got a rabbit or something? Does your farmer Ugh. store them inside of his rectal cavity for safe transport and then just shits them out? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why they taste like shit. A supermarket ad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking. Like I said, it's like. I mean, have you ever seen a rabbit? Like, you just like a rabbit just bounce along and just shit just like falls out every couple of seconds. Like, bloop, bloop, yeah. Bloop. It's like a breadcrumb trail. Yeah. <laughs> a shit trail. Yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> but yeah, like, like we don't have garbage disposals. It's probably good for good fucking reason because then our sinks might back up. And fucking mm. karma may ensue. But yeah, who else has got regrets? Come on, I was the only one that answered that. Uh, I don't know. Shocks, your biggest regret? This in the just the last seven days. Oh, is that all? Um... Said that. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, because I'm very boring. I don't do much anymore. <laughs> The highlight of Shock's week is this podcast. Yeah. It is. Like, I honest No, oh, shit. Now that I'm really thinking about it, I don't really <laughs> talk about that. Like, in real life, apart from family, uh, you guys all I got. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. This is live. I'm just coming to this realisation now. What the hell He's... am I doing? He sounds so depressed about that. Oh, you're the only, only guys I got. Oh, I think no. your biggest regret this week, Shock, <laughs> is that Where's you Where's that razor blade? <laughs> your biggest regret this week, Shock, was that you weren't unable you were unable to delete your old podcast from iTunes. Yes, that one. <laughs> I listened you. to all three episodes at work. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been Why? a long time. Why would you do that? <laughs> wow. Do you hate yourself? <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> So guys, we've got uh, we've got different <laughs> media classifications for oh, films. For we've so. got R, oh, and then we've got else in the room, X. You, did you? X X can only be used for porn, but you can't broadcast porn. <laughs> well, you learned something. So. Yes, yeah. I know. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I didn't listen to that much of it. I listened to ten minutes of one, and I nearly killed myself. So, so, <laughs> so Daniel Craig is leaving James Bond. Uh, he's, oh, pro- he's, fu- he's probably fucking tired. <laughs> <He's> pr- <laughs> it was amazing, dude. Holy shit, I loved it. Genuinely, no, it, no, it wasn't as bad as you think. It wasn't as bad as you think. It wasn't as bad as you think. Genuinely, but see, is is my problem? Right? You just work better with I... other people. 
The, the one I listened to was the one where he was talking about Star Wars. Now, I have no fucking interest in Star Wars. I'm going to admit it. I don't really have a lot of interest. I don't understand the buzz uh, around you it. And I right, both, yeah, they're, you and I both. Yeah, they're okay movies, but they don't, you know, they don't give me an erection or anything. Right, so people are like, oh, right. So he's talking about a subject I couldn't give a fuck about anyway. <laughs> which instantly made me bored, which is why I started looking around on his table. <laughs> That's what it's there for. <laughs> you see, unfortunately, he'd taken down the video podcast, so I only had the audio to go off. Oh, yeah. It was worse if you saw his face. <gasps> really? The face added nothing to the, to the podcast. I know! Except more grease. <laughs> it wasn't grease. It was sweat because this apartment is goddamn hot. No one needs to see a flop sweat Australian doing a podcast, all right? <laughs> should we just right, should we, uh, topic? <laughs> uh, no, should, should we move on to a bit of YouTube drama? And yes. Just break it up a little bit. Yes. Um, yes. Has there been any? <laughs> um, well. <laughs> <laughs> has there been any that hasn't been personal? Uh, what, to me? Uh, nah. <laughs> the big stuff. Um, I think I thought it was funny. Um, it's not really YouTube, although it is linked to YouTube. The whole uh, Dolan Duck and Colossal is crazy are the same person thing that was going on and confused the fuck out of shock mouse to the point where I was wetting myself at work trying to drive a fucking bus. You really do love Colossal is <laughs> crazy, don't you? <laughs> you want okay, Jim. Were you were you reading Twitter while you were driving a bus, or <laughs> were you? Driving the bus, not using the internet or anything, and then I just popped into your head and it made you laugh while you're driving a bus. Is that what happened? Yeah, that's what that, that's what happens. I, I literally like, I saw what you read and I was, and I was just driving along and then I've just got this image of you sat there like confusedly <laughs> looking at your computer screen, going, what, what going on? What going on, Chip? I love Don't that you? the and the thing is, is you started you started going confused because of me. <laughs> yeah, you started going on at me, going, "Ah ha, they're not, they are, they're not the same person." I was like, "Did I say they were in my video?" No. Yeah, I, I thought didn't. you did. <laughs> no, that, that was the point of my video. My video had no information whatsoever. <laughs> it basically stated that I had won a bet with a friend, and the bet was that Colossal is crazy, and Dolan and Dark would um, troll Twitter big before the end of the year, which is what they did. <laughs> But what Colossal did in the end, Dolan didn't really have much to do with it. <laughs> he was just, he was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so it was quite funny just to see Shocks trying to try to try to catch up with trolls, you know, and like, uh, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> so that that entertained me quite a bit. <laughs> Jeez, I can tell. Jim. It did it. It did entertain me because every everyone, a lot of people fell for it. Shocks, a hell of a lot of people fell for it. Well, he came out and said it, so you'd think that he's telling the truth. I know, but the, the funny thing is, is number one, what is Colossal known for? Trolling, <laughs> right? That's where we started. He is a troll. So is Dodan Dark. Um, anyone who would even watch Pyrocynical's channel would know the answer anyway, and anyone with half a brain would know the answer. <laughs> mm. So, like, Chocks, I've only got a quarter of a brain. Oh. <laughs> Describe yourself in one sentence. We've done this one. Have we? Yeah, I recognise this question. Okay. We broke the generator. We're just yeah, we're just repeating questions How often now. do you use your phone? Fucking hell, every, <laughs> every ten seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it's when I'm driving. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's barely out of my hand. The phone also. Oh. <laughs> At what age would you consider someone to be old? Well, it changes, doesn't it, as you get older? Yeah. I used to think... <laughs> when I was 19, I thought 23 was super-duper old. I got to 23, and I thought 30 was super-duper old. And now I'm almost 30, and I'm like, well, 80, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you pushed it back like a little monumental bit each time, and then you go, fuck it, I'm just going to lift it all the way up to 80. Yeah, because I'm sick of thinking, like, five years is heaps old, but realising, like, hang on a minute, that's not far. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think you're old when, um, you know when you fall over and people laugh? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but when you get old, people, when you fall over, people are a little bit more concerned. That's the point. Oh, yeah. Where they, it's when, where it's when you... It, it's instead of falling over, you have a fall. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah. And it's a big it's event, awesome. like you tell people about it. Yeah, I had fall, a fall yeah. today. I broke my hip. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, what kind of, um... I crossed the road once. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what kind of music do you listen to? Uh... Um, <clears throat> um, any. I'm, I'm pretty, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty liberal with my music. Yeah. If it, get, if it, get, if it provokes some sort of uh, fault or memory, then it's good in my book. Right What's your favourite smell? <laughs> <laughs> Becky Boop's knickers. Oh. That... Oh, that's nasty, that, isn't it, eh? What did you... What did you... No. No. Kim, what are you no. doing? No. That's against the law. <laughs> this poor person is falling <laughs> fucking hard. Yeah. Actually, actually, you know what my favourite smell is? Is like freshly baked bread. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, fucking love that smell. After you've blown a candle out, <laughs> after you've burned a house down, <laughs> <laughs> after you've gone fishing, what are we talking about? What? What? <laughs> fishing. What sort of things that you like shouldn't say at work? Wake up, honey. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're all inept, and I don't know how society hasn't crumbled yet if everybody else is just like everybody here. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. I didn't actually hear the question. <laughs> What's up? You didn't you have to. Say it work? <laughs> I still didn't hear it because Shockmouth was fucking Something speaking. you shouldn't say at work, Jeb. Right, get on the fucking bus, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what well, it's like? Welcome British busways. Get the fuck on. <laughs> Get the fuck on. Sit down. And shut the fuck up. Give me your money. And all. Do you have to drive school kids? Uh, no. No. <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, we can't speak about this. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, um, I used to. I don't anymore. Oh. I was banned. <laughs> Oh shit! Are you? That sounds so wrong, didn't it? Oh shit! All right, okay. You have to tell me about this now. I've just sort of sat up. I'm on the edge right. of my seat I actually, now. I actually wasn't banned. I just changed jobs. You know, you <laughs> can't just say that you were banned and then you say, actually, no, I retract my previous statement. Make something up. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I make something up? <laughs> this is a conversation that can only go wrong for me. <laughs> well, you fucking led us down this dark alley. Because <laughs> it's easy to lead you on. <laughs> you know all about leading on. Of course. I'm a fucking cock tease. Just say something <laughs> like somebody at the pub changed your ringtone on your phone to <laughs> pornography and then the phone rang on the bus. <laughs> I think I, I, I wouldn't... That, that wouldn't... Stop me from like driving kids. That would just get me fired. Say that there was. A... <laughs> you... that... Literally, if you touch your mobile phone while behind the seat of a bus, you're, you and you get caught, cool, pretty much fucked straight up the ass. Oh no! Instantly. But that's the genius part is that you haven't touched it and you can't touch it. The phone's ringing and it's just playing pornography <laughs> and you can't stop it. I remember getting told off um, doing a school school bus once. What happened was is um. You get to the school and they all pile on at once and they try and give you the money and I'm so I'm sort, sorting it out um, and I turn around and I smash my elbow on the door that's just by me because obviously we've got the cab oh. doors and it hits me right on the funny bone and I, and I scream out for fuck's sake like that man did I get in trouble for that <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was 19 that... parents calling up the company Gavin <laughs> you drive a swarm the bus <laughs> I was like I hit my elbow. That's what people do with it there, but they accidentally swear. At the end of the day, fucking chill. <laughs> Joe, you know, I thought it'd been something more interesting, like you flung a child from a moving bus. Because yeah, you know, that, like... <laughs> that, that's get the fuck off. <laughs> oh, I this sprayed, is parenting. I sprayed, <laughs> I, I sprayed a bunch with um, a fire extinguisher once. What? Wait for real? <laughs> yeah, I'll I tell, tell you the story. I tell you the story if you shut up. Um, so. <laughs> Um, basically, I, I got this school 
uh, uh, contract that I've got to do it all week. It's the same school. And on the first day, um, it's, and it's, it's secondary school kids. So you're looking at 15, 16 years old, think they know it, think they know what life's about, got all the fucking attitude, got all the ego. Anyway, they're on my top deck and they're smoking, which of course is illegal on buses. Yeah. Um, so I go up and say, please don't smoke. And I'm polite. And a couple of days go by, they're still doing it <clears throat> and trying to burn the back of the seats, I might add, at this point and all. Um, and on the third day, I go up to my company and goes, look, these kids are not paying any attention to me. Can you get a supervisor out to meet me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll get a supervisor out. No problem, no problem, chimp. Um, so, gets to Friday, the supervisor still hasn't met me. So I go upstairs with the fire extinguisher and I just hose down all the kids on the back seat with it, which is a foam extinguisher. Drop them off at the school, <laughs> covered in foam. Uh, about 20 minutes later, I get pulled into the office. <laughs> Why did you do that? Why did you do this? <laughs> uh, well, um, they were smoking. I asked a supervisor to meet me and he didn't. All right. Yeah. So whose fault is it really? So this goes on for about a week and they want to discipline me for it. So I'm in there with the union rep who is about as useful as a three-legged fucking donkey because they normally are. <laughs> I, and, um, I think that's efficient. My <laughs> yeah, my, my manager's trying to tell me off for it, right? And I sat there, right? And I goes, isn't it not part of my duties? to put out small fires if I can tackle them. And he said, yes, it is. And I said, is a cigarette not considered a small fire? And he said, yes, it is. And I said, so you can't do anything to me then because I've done my job. And they couldn't do anything. They couldn't fire me. They couldn't discipline me. They had to let me go. And everyone loved me for it. (laughs) 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 And I literally was made a legend in that moment (laughs) in in my industry. (laughs) Wow. That's actually really interesting. That was a long fucking story. No, I like that. That story isn't going to get you identified, is it? By anyone who works in the company, like, one day in the future might listen back. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Trust me, there's there's not many drivers... Yeah, there's not many drivers that have got away with such a thing, but only the people that know that story will know, and I know that none of them listen to this, so... (laughs) Different different generation at the end of the day. That's what you you think, Jim. Different different generation. (laughs) Well, we've got one of your work friends here, Chip, a special guest for the podcast. Everyone say hello to Michael. Everyone say hello to the bus. (laughs) Everyone say hello to bus driver 9215. Come on down. (laughs) The stage is yours. And you don't have driver numbers. Say that again. I I figured out who you are, though. Oh, good for you. No, I have. You... Uh, celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. Mm, you're okay. both British. You both swear. Oh, Ramsay's like Scottish. Tomb. Let's stop you right there because Ramsay's Scottish. So are you, for all I know. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure two <laughs> weeks ago you were cooking. I'm always you were cooking. cooking just before the podcast. <laughs> I figured you out. What was I cooking? <laughs> right, someone Up else has a, a story. A long story now. <laughs> <laughs> We could we could go to our hey. story time if you want. Yeah, uh, do top, topic generator for a few more minutes. All right. Okay. Uh. 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 Right. Uh, what's the biggest thing you've ever won? Oh. And I'm not trying to win, chimp. <laughs> chimp, it can't be trying to win because I know what you're gonna say. Booty boobs, boobs. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> See, didn't mention her again, that was you. No, but we knew what you were going to say. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah? Prove it. No. Prove it. How the fuck can I prove it when you've already fucking <laughs> said it? <laughs> prove it, you fluffy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking crumpet eating cunt. Oh, well, at least crumpets oh, are fucking where, delicious. Where, where, yeah, where's your fucking posh corn up your fucking ass, is it? <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking cooking for safe uh, tra- uh, transport. Guess what I've got today, Tim? Uh, I've got I've got uh, coconut uh, flavored popcorn. Well, good for you, Peter. What a posh twat! Right. Just, just <laughs> right. Eat, just eat where do you shop? Where the, the fuck do you shop, Shimp? Do you go to Tesco? Do you go to shop? Morrison. Morrison. All right. Classy. All right. Yeah, they're fucking classy. All right. The budget thing that used to be Safeways. All right. Go to Morrison's when you next go and look for. I think it's called Metcalf's posh popcorn. We okay. did! You did? <laughs> right, could you see it? No. Right, well that shows you just how fucking undercultured Morrison's is. 
I rest my fucking case. Any any place that has a fish counter is top notch. Everywhere is a fish counter now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, uh, no, a, a really uh, top-notch thing is when you go down, like, the wine aisle, and it's, like, different to every other aisle because it's made out of... All the shells are made out of wood and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's made out of wine. <laughs> what are you going to say, then? <laughs> the floors are wine. <laughs> the floors are wine. Um, I, don't, I don't know what the biggest thing I ever won is, actually. I don't, I don't think I've actually won anything. Are we on about biggest really? in... We're really? Just yeah. about biggest in size. Just, not as an expense. It's probably the best thing then. I don't. I'm like you. I don't think I've won anything. No, I don't think I've won That's anything. That's sad, isn't it? Yeah. Like, we don't win anything. We're just like naturally unlucky. I, I think if you, <laughs> if you can count YouTube as winning something because we won some sort of weird fame. You both then... won me and uh, my wisdom. Fuck of years sake. of experience. And on that oh, yeah, note. Been really helpful that has you you've grown more in the last three months since you've been hanging out with the pete and the and the chimp the pete. than you have in the last 10 years <laughs> story time we're writing a book <laughs> for, <laughs> for penguin books we've there. got four story chapters time. so far Let's get rid of this awkwardness right we've got four chapters so far i'm going to do a recap of these past four chapters are you are you gonna bloody well do a proper recap you can't Yes, yeah, so we'll do a proper recap, okay? That's what he no, just no. said if you were listening I'm to him. Gonna, Gosh. I'm going to do it. If I, I, I tell you what, right? I, I'm going to find you, right? I'm going to put my hand so far down your fucking throat that I'm going to be able to rip the label off your underpants. Are you talking to Peter? No, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to clarify, all right? Just checking. All right. right, okay, so I'm going to do an epic recap in a nice, deep, slow voice. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> right. From chapter one to chapter four. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 we forgot, we've, we've forgotten the main thing, lads, and we forgot this last week and all. We've forgotten the jingle. Ah, oh, yes. We cannot Story forget time, to yeah. do Story the jingle. Time. There, I did it. That's not, I don't, no one <laughs> wants to listen to you. Whose turn no. is it to do it anyway? I think it's Peter's turn to sing. <laughs> okay. I don't think uh, Peter's done the singing yet. What, what, no, I've done the singing. I, I, I fucking sung my introduction to this podcast, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, but... It's still your turn. We've done it. <laughs> yes, but, 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 but. Story time! It's the story time! Yeah. We say weird words. Fucking story time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. X Factor 2017. Right. <laughs> chapter... Right, are we ready? For chapter one to chapter four. <clears throat> wait, wait a minute. Wait, someone's just left a firework. It's broad fucking daylight. What are you doing? I'm just going to carry on. Right. Turn chapter up your one. Turn disposal. <laughs> Ch shut the fuck up, Jim. Jim. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> no! <laughs> Turn off your garbage disposal. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, the memes. Oh, so many memes. Yeah, so wait, carry on. Carry on, carry on, Pete. <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> the chimp. The chimp cunt who flaked Becky Boop's cunt. Like to play bongos on Becky Bottom. He liked felching whilst eating jelly. Once he finished eating lollies. Unfortunately, he fell out with Shockmouth's registered trademark. Apple because word. Chapter 2. <laughs> Revenge of the Nika. <laughs> then Anus swollen up inside Peter. Ouch! screamed Peter. I heard Becky Boop's anus. Today was fun for everyone. On the weekend, I like to cartwheel down the hill. It feels wet, and it was my <laughs> sexual gratification. I enjoy stroking <laughs> Becky on her left kneecap. She said, who did that to me? I did that. Chapter 3. <laughs> Excessive flatulence. Said elephant man who farted on the cat. I didn't do that. You farted on Becky's cat. What did fucking Fred say about that bitch? He exclaimed, Bananas! Taste my balls. Everybody loves balls. When Becky's nibbles get eaten, <laughs> fried sandwiches <laughs> are delicious. Especially when farted upon. Peter thinks that farted animals is disgusting. Except on toast. Chapter 4. Trolley Erections Then Shockmouse hate Chimp because of his dick. 
Shockmouth was amazing at not being shit. Lazy cunt, <laughs> said Shockmouth. Peter Chimp and Becky, myself, all went hate couch shopping trolleys. Erections at Walmart are depressing. Jake from State Farm <laughs> is going queer for Pete. <laughs> what a fucking masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. It is going to be a best. Fuck, it's going to be Christmas number one next year. Next Absolutely. Christmas. I don't know. I don't know if you know. I don't know if you know what the concept Christmas of Christmas tree. number one is, Chimp. I don't know if you know what the <laughs> what Christmas number one is, but it's not a book. <laughs> right, chapter five. Who's starting? <laughs> I'll I'll start. Okay. Because I. Well, wait, what way are we going round? So shocked, Peter Chimp. There you go. That yeah. way round. All right. Um. Australia shouted <laughs> cranberries <laughs> Shrek looked confused donkey said bollocks and also said AIDS <laughs> Wow <laughs> said <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've lost shock about <laughs> Becky <laughs> <laughs> Boop <laughs> I've <laughs> Sorry, it's funny because I know what I'm gonna say, but you guys don't. <laughs> say Queefed. 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 <laughs> Into. <laughs> Peters. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not talking about some sort of fucking crash. He fell off his chair. It's like about some sort of crash. <laughs> Shocks is all you. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, what? Into Peter's. No, it's on you. No, into you... Peter's. I said cereal. Cereal. That's why we're dying, isn't it? Why? Did I do that? Said Peter because it was funny and also, <clears throat> uh, disgusting. Uh, um, full stop. <laughs> yeah, I do full uh, stop. Um, queefing was <laughs> fantastic. Sporting <laughs> said Shock Mouse <laughs> Best Day Ever Okay, so that's chapter five. Are you ready for this shit? Oh Australia! yeah, shouted Cranberries. Shrek looked confused. Donkey <laughs> said bollocks. Also, I've actually spelled donkey like D O N K E H. Donkey said bollocks and also said AIDS. Wow, said Becky Boop. I've queefed into Peter's cereal. Why did I do that? said Peter. Because it was funny and also disgusting. Queefing was fantastic sporting, said Shockmouse. Best day ever. <laughs> 
and the name of this chapter... <laughs> Queefing in cereal. Queefing in cereal. Right. Oh my god. Right, I think that's time, guys. <coughs> Thank fuck. <laughs> I'm dying! <coughs> my chest hurts. Should I just sign off for each of us? Alright, yes. All right. Um, just, yeah, say goodbye. Hey, okay, I've been Peace Day. I've been Angry okay. Chimp. And I've been Shockmouths. Please leave comments and subscribe and oh, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave comments. And make subscribe art. to our channels. Make, make, make art. Leave questions, because we will answer questions if yeah. you leave them. But you've got to fucking leave them. <laughs> Death threats now, my chip. I'm <laughs> getting threats. Chip, do you have anything else to say? Me? Uh, no. All right, bye. <laughs>